Okay, here we go. The car is the guys have smashed it. Hi guys, and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today this is going to be. I keep saying that. I love saying it because I just love what I do. And uh, today's video is going to be really, really cool because. It features a certain car which is behind me, which is my Golf R, and a lot of you guys have been asking for more content with it. I've not sold it, I'm not selling it soon. Obviously the replacement might be the RS3 when it arrives, um, but that's not just yet. And what I've always wanted to do is do modifications. And we did the exhaust, we did the wheels, but we haven't done the body kit. And I've been sharing things on Instagram going, guys, I'm tempted to do this, 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 and this, and this. Today's the day. So here is the car. It is ready to have a lot of mods onto it. And you're probably thinking, well, Archie, that's very clean for you. Yes, it had a clean today, all ready to go for its upgrades. And I cannot wait to see what this looks like. It's gonna be mega. Um, first of all, obviously we did the Voss and wheels, um, which I think are a complete game changer. They were spaced out, etc. Those are the HF5 wheels from Vossen, mega. Um, and I think that just automatically, doesn't the new Golf R just look mega, by the way? Let's just be honest. It really does look seriously, seriously cool. And then we had the Miltech Sport exhaust system, which a lot of you guys can't quite believe the size of the tips, which are, yeah, they are ginormous, but the car kind of, works but it, i know straight away when i i knew straight away sorry when i did it that it needed body parts to make the wheels and the exhaust make sense kind of thing but now that's arrived and today that goes on we will then this will all make complete sense even side skirts are going to make a massive massive difference so i've just arrived where i am going to be fitting it and it's just really really exciting the front is crying out for a massive front splitter isn't it let's be honest it really really is and that is what will happen also and i think the car today how it arrives and how it leaves is two completely different things and that is what i absolutely love <laughs> i've brought it all along with me everybody got my trainers in there when i go running uh but we've got i got all the mods on me um and then they're all going to be fitted so it's it's so so cool but yeah I love, this channel originated from me doing mods to my A45. I loved it and I gotta bring it back because it's just so much fun. The Golf R is such an epic car. I've actually done 6,000 miles in it. Good for me. Uh, but anyway, I love this price range of car. We've just arrived at Dub Customs. I'm gonna go inside, we're gonna get it fitted. Let's go. This video has kind of been sponsored by the bots app but let's be honest cryptocurrency is absolutely huge at the moment and if you're not sure how to get started or you don't necessarily have the experience the bots app has you completely covered using algorithms and facts and numbers the bots app trades in an automated way so you can make optimal decisions without having to guess basically bots knows when to buy and also when to sell and time's important to us all and this will save you so much time this is a huge benefit of having the bots app it's absolutely perfect for a beginner and if you're just getting started bang on so anyway check this out the app is super super slick it uses complex algorithms that analyze the market in a way only the best expert can and automatically trades based on that all you have to do is input a little bit of money and you can start with as little as 50 euros. Just select some bots to invest for you, and that is literally it. Away you go. You guys also need to get involved in the Get 50 campaign also. Basically, let's say you invest 150 euros into one or two bots, and as a new user, you will receive a boost of 50 euros. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy using the bots app. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you get clicking and downloading. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Okay, we've just arrived at Dove Customs. Always good to be here, always good to be here. Love seeing the guys here. My car has just gone inside. All the new facility, which is uh, it's coming coming along really nice. Everything is really coming along. There's, there's lots of building work going on, but let's see what there is. That is cool. These are beasts. I love these alongside a Mustang. They've always got mad stuff here. Absolute animal. I remember when I went on the first test drive for these cars and I was like, you know what? I really want one. And do you remember, you might have seen the video when I actually said that I really want one. And 
one day, one day. E63, absolute animal. That or the saloon, what would you have? Then we have a very cool Mustang, which is here, an amazing orange. I'm a fan of orange cars, so don't at me. I really love orange cars, and I think that is really cool. I love all the carbon, which goes on the back there. That is really, really nice. So love that. Then we have a Bath, etc., a Porsche, different things. We have an RS5 which is just here. These are amazing value as well. Mods are happening. Um, it's a Maxton design kit. So you would have seen, I did on my RS6, I did Maxton design, I did the whole thing. Love that. Still wanna have a go on their tractor. Love satin gray. Should we wrap the Golf R satin gray? What do you reckon? I've actually thought, said to you guys on Instagram, what color should we wrap my Golf R? Not today, but should we do it? Let's see what the mods look like first. We have a Tesla. I really like Teslas. Rapid 71 plate. That is very, very cool. And rapid as well. Then we have a 911R, which is just here. Very, very cool. Full wraparound and PPF as well. I'm loving these ramps, which they have. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, love the 911R. That just looks so, so good. That's gonna be awesome when that's done. And then we also have Ferrari, which is just here, getting some work done. Wow, well, that that probably gives a gives a clue of what's going on with that. Right, we have the parts here, which are from. Well, let's actually see the car is on the ramp here at uh, at Dub. So we're just a uh, new ramp actually just gone in, which is very very cool. Uh, so let's actually look at the, the sort of parts that we got, and then uh, we can sort of show you what's going on. So the front splitter, that is uh, one of them. They have like these little canards that are kind of on the side as well. Um, the rear lip, which is quite cool because that will kind of go like there. So that will make, uh, well, wrong way, just nearly ripped the roof off. Um, so that will kind of go on there, so that will look quite cool. And then the other things that we have are side skirts. So the side skirts go all in there. And then, yeah, what I, I call them right, rear canards. They might be, that might be wrong, but they'll kind of, go like under there as well so it will just make it just so much better and then yeah we'll wait till the front splitter and stuff's on because that looks so good yeah we're just starting to put all the little bits on we're going to do rear canards first which go on let's sort of show how these kind of how these kind of go no wrong way yeah you, you, you kind of yeah stuff like that so really really easy and then you just drill through the, the parts where they tell you to, which I'd probably mess up, and then away you go. And then what we also have hidden is an F12, which is just here, which is actually a left-hand drive car. This car is actually, what's got under there? Oh, something getting resprayed. Very cool. Uh, this is actually uh, wrapped in satin black, and I wanna quickly show you because the interior, first of all, the F12 is like insane, let's be honest. But not only that, that I love this interior. It's a left-hand drive car. So everything is stripped out when things get wrapped, obviously. Uh, but I love the stitching. Orange stitching in an F12. That is amazing. Carbon steering wheel, orange stitching. When that is finished, that is going to look really, really cool. Don't you just think the F12 is amazing? And in satin black, that just works so well. Okay, here we go. The car is, the guys have smashed it. If you didn't know, the guys at Dub also sort of fit different parts like this. Let's have a little walk around my Golf R with its new, I'm gonna say body kit, because it is. It's got so much more presence than what this had before. And you're probably thinking, well, has a lot changed? Well, yes, it has, because now it just has, look how good that looks. Look how flipping good that looks. Now the wheels make more sense because what we've got is we've got the splitter, which is just at the front, just here, which makes so much difference. It's amazing what a front splitter can do to a car. It just straight away, first of all, makes the car look not stock, but give it a lot more presence as well and a golf is a bit of a sleeper on the road and now 
this just looks so cool i love the little grooves that we have in the front amazing love the front splitter and now it just looks like now the lowered stance makes so much more sense love that just love the angle uh from where we're at obviously the color's still the same but potentially down the line we will change it but love the look of this obviously we've got the got voss and wheels on it they were there before with the, in the gray and now we've actually added just down here a side skirt which now just gives the car um just a little bit touch more they don't come out massively it's about the size of your thumb the width but it basically just gives it more presence um and stance with the side skirt so that makes a lot of difference there so i love that and then that just obviously the splitter and that makes way more sense oh it's just amazing and then when you go from the look at this guys this is unreal i tell you what that is unreal like i've had a few different cars but that now from how this car started in the video it's just subtle things which we've done to change it right unreal and then what we have at the back obviously you you look here and it is different very just subtle things have made this different so what we've got is we've got a rear lip a maxton rear lip um which is probably due to change soon i completely messed it up and i ordered uh the part which goes on the back of the club sport bit so the rear wing here will change we are going to sort of get a slightly different one but for now it will work uh but yeah we've got a rear lip on there so this this actual rear lip will change uh, to something slightly different um but yeah it, it still sort of looks cool right you sort of have more of a more of a stance on it as you can see on the back but it will change we're going to sort of change up i might get a slightly uh a, a club sport uh, rear wing and then that will go on the top of that and then it'll have way more presence than it already does but something which we're going to sort and uh, the guys at maxton are going to sort me out very kind of them and then what we have at the back as well is we have these rear canards just here really really simple to put on but what those do they just give the car a lot more presence as well and just i'm just super super happy how this car now looks it just has so much and the golf are uh, golf r mark 8 is already a mega bit of kit and for me it just is subtle mods this is a stock rear diffuser but the stock rear diffuser with the other bits and the miltech system and the wilson's and the, and now from how this car arrived to how it is now is is really really cool and that is just something which i'm super happy about it's such a good run around the golf r honestly i cannot tell you guys enough how good of a car that is it's just as fast as an a45s it's amazing to drive it's so comfortable and it has all of the attributes for sort of like the best kind of daily driver you can have uh, for that price range and what is actually mad as well everybody well ladies and gentlemen um these kind of gone up in price and and i'm not joking the mark 8 is there's not enough of them coming through um and i think list they were sort of like 38 grand I looked online the other day they're like 43 44 grand um so i'm just going to keep hold of it because i might as well it's perfect for everyday use piling my back by pack my bike into the back of the car um but it's not that it's the 0 to 60 it's the comfort it's the practicality um the mark 8 golf r is really amazing and I'm thinking, is the RSD going to be as good as that? Because it's just that good. And drag races. I feel I'm not finished with drag racing this car while it is stock. So we're going to do that in a couple of weeks. We're going to take it to the airfield and we're going to think about what else we can drag this up against. Because it matched an A45S, it destroyed an M135i, it destroyed an A35. So we're thinking, what else can it be? Because they're just that flipping good. But I hope you like it. Huge thanks to Maxton Design. A huge thanks to Dub Customs, as always. Can't wait to see the progress of the facility. Massive thanks to Maxton Design. And a massive thanks to you guys as well for watching. So let me know your thoughts. Get it in the comments down below what you think to go for. And if you think I should wrap the car, what colour should I go? I might just leave it. But if there's a colour you think, oh, you should do it, then I might. 
but I might just leave it. Anyway, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you all very soon. Side of something